Well, what is up guys, GSM Messi here and welcome to another player review. This one is going to be second and four, Maron Fellaini. He did get this for playing against Manchester United in the first game this season uh, in the Barclays Premier League. I played him in this team, a 3-5-2, uh, a centre attack in mid. I could have him at centre mid or CDM as well, but um, I tweeted out and people would rather me play him at cam. So I, saw, I thought that's, that's his base position, so I thought that'd be his best one to go with. Here is in-game stats, and I'm obviously going to be running through the main ones. Um, he does have some really, really outstanding ones as well, as you can see on that bit there. 99 strength. Uh, I'll, get, I'll go more in depth that one a bit later. But here are the clips, and uh, now I'll go through all them um, at the stats. 86 ball control is his first one. It, it, it's really important for him being so tall. As a, a lot of big players, you can find that the ball actually gets trapped in their feet, which gets quite annoying. But with him, because he's got high ball control, that is not a problem whatsoever. Next is 97 head and accuracy, and he doesn't ever get out jumped. I mean, just right here... He outjumps the defender just because he's so tall. And uh, it, it, his strength also helps on top of that. He's got 89 long pass, and his passing is just incredible. At Cam, I usually go for a shorter player such as like David Silva. But Fellaini is the opposite of what I'd usually pick, but he's absolutely outstanding. Um, he's just got 97 long shot, which is absolutely godly. Um, I'd compare that to the region of Cristiano Ronaldo. He has got a great long shot on him. And uh, Fellaini... Just as good. Gets as much power on it as possible as well. Uh, he's got 94 short pass. Because you can see a lot of these clips. He's actually the provider. He gets a lot of assists. A lot of goals. And it is generally a beast. Um, next one is 97 shot power. And on top of the 90... Uh, oh no. Yeah. 97 long shots. It's absolutely outstanding. I mean, he just, the keepers can't get near them. He hits them that hard that they just struggle to get there. And uh, here's his strength uh, proven to be great as well. Gets past the defender and wins a penalty. He won a fair few for me. Took it with him. He did smash it into a corner. So uh, if I was a, uh, they usually save them for me. I don't know why. Uh, is another assist from Lukaku, Lukaku Muralaz and um, Fellaini is an incredible partnership. Then three up top, all for same league, all same nation, can destroy teams. Next, he's got 93 volleys. Um, only experienced a couple of times, but he does smash them when he hits them. And uh, that's a great finish there from the big man. Uh, next thing, 6 of 4, meaning he's an animal because he's so tall. Uh, he can play at centre attacking mid, centre mid, and centre defensive mid, as uh, that's basically where his best three positions are. He's got a medium attack work rate, meaning he's not uh, he, he's not playing as a striker, which he shouldn't be. Uh, he's also got a high defensive work rate, so he will get back and he will put his leg in, like because he's got really good defending stats as well. Um, 80 sprint speed, which is amazing for a 6 of 4 guy, and uh, 99 strength. No one knocks him off the ball ever. Uh, not even Heskey would. I'm not, I, I don't like Heskey, but Heskey in this game has got high strength. So is Akin Femmo. They wouldn't out, like, outmuster this guy. Uh, so he's got very good in-game stats as well, like defensively. Um, I, I've only gone through his attacking like ones at the moment. As I played him at centre attacking mid, so I thought it'd be right to do so. Uh, you could try him at centre defensive mid, and uh, I'd like to see your guys' opinion of what he's like there. Um, next thing, here are the things I put on the screen. His average price on the Xbox is 63,000 coins, nearly 64. Uh, I got mine for 65, as there's hardly any on the market. He's a very, very low card weight, uh, it seems. 65k on PS3. Value for money, I've given him 4 stars out of 5. Um, that is the fact that a 65k for a sentence I can is quite a bit. Uh, don't get me wrong, but it, so if, if he was around 50k, he would be 5 easily. It's just the fact that... Um, He's a big man, and he's quite a low card weight, hence the reason for his pie. Uh, price. Price? Price? So with dibs. Um, that was an awful impression. Then on to the alternatives. I've only given three, and they're all informed, as there's not many players to compare this guy to. Uh, the one, the, the main one is Axel Witzel. Um, he's from Belgium, and he plays the, sim, uh, the same position as Fellaini. Uh, he's got similar stats, but he's not as tall. But again, Fellaini is... He's just out outclassed in all three of these, in my opinion. Next is Steven Gerrard. Uh, same league. Uh, same position, and he's got similar stats-ish, apart from Jared's a bit shorter. And then Yaya Torre. Yaya Torre is, is like pretty much the same as Fellaini, but he's more defensive, I'd say. As Yaya Torre is basically used as a battering ram. But on, uh, in real life, he's amazing, don't get me wrong. But on FIFA, he isn't anything too special. So Fellaini, I am going to give him a 9 out of 10. Same as uh, yesterday's video, or the day before, I don't know when I'm going to upload this. But on Montero, he is going to get a 9 out of 10. This guy is extremely good and very worth, uh, very worth. It is very much worth the coins to pay, guys. So, thank you for watching this video. If you didn't see the second full Montero review yesterday, the link will be on, in the description below. I'll put it on the screen as well, guys. So, thank you for watching this video. Please drop a like, please subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.